Welcome back to Autism Live. We're sitting here, three autism moms, having a great time and yeah. having a great laugh. We're so thrilled because Christina Bant Jenkins is here with us, Thank specifically you. to talk with about a couple of different things, but in particular yeah. about a project called This Is Autism. Yes. Thank you both so much for having me. I'm thrilled to be here. We're great thrilled to have you here. Have you here. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about yourself and 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 how this project got started. Okay. I'm a photographer. Um, I've, I've had a few careers. Okay. Uh, I've been in front of the camera as a model. Uh, I went to architecture school. Then I was in advertising. Um, I've sort of been on all sides of the camera. And uh, my son is 11. He was born 11 years ago. And the economy was tanking. And uh, within the first year and a half, two years, I was going to doctors, trying to figure out what was going on and getting the autism diagnosis. And I could take pictures. I needed to be home for my son, and I needed a job. I needed to make money, and I could take good pictures. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then automatically, you just sort of end up in this autism community. And um, it really developed a niche there, which I love. I love photographing kids, but um, there's something special about kids on the spectrum. You know, as a parent, probably both you as moms, you're a little bit hesitant to call a photographer, you're a little bit hesitant to do the typical things that other parents do. You think, oh my gosh, is this going to work? Is he even going to look at the camera? Is mm -hmm. he going to cooperate gonna, today? Yeah, right. Are we going to get that smile? Is the photographer yeah. going to be able to catch those yeah. rare moments? Yeah. Because yeah. they'll then, settle for that. Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that, that horrible that smile, smile, right? The school pictures. Oh, oh, oh I painful. know. But also <laughs> then the judgment, like as moms, we're thinking, oh my goodness, what is this photographer going to think? Or we yeah, just yeah. are so nervous. Right. And we thought, I want to make other moms comfortable and other parents comfortable and know I get it. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter. Mm -hmm. um, and I've, I've figured out how to catch that split second where they're engaged and looking in my lens. Mm -hmm. And um, I really choose to sort of enter their world and see what they're doing and thinking and feeling. And you get those moments of magic. Mm -hmm. And so after several of these shoots where parents would be like, oh my goodness, you've got that smile that I can't tell anybody really exists or that, that glimpse, that twinkle in his eye. Um, I found myself showing photographs to parents and saying, this is autism. Mm. I, don't, I don't want to hear any more at this moment about a diet or a therapy or what doctor did you try or who's your BII at school this smiling face, this interest in Thomas the Train or his big brother showing him something. This is autism. And we have to remember they're just kids. Yeah, capturing everything. capturing them in the moment. Yes. Who they are right yes. now. Yes. Not who we are, want them to no. be, not who we, you know, are hoping they can be, yeah. but who they are. And and it's therapeutic for us too. For a moment, we forget about what they're not doing or about what we wish they were doing or what we worry they won't be doing at 18. Mm -hmm. In this moment, they are a beautiful little soul that's excited about whatever it is he's showing me. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's what I want people to see. That's what I want parents to see and friends to see. And I think if more people see that, it's less daunting and less intimidating. Absolutely. Now, Samantha's showing some pictures on the screen there. Can we full mm. screen those, Samantha, and take a look? Yeah. Uh, and uh, so talk to us a little bit about some of the pictures that she's showing. Here. Well, I have to first have um, a moment of honesty. The, the gorgeous boy in the middle is mine. Yeah, <laughs> that's Charlie. That's Charlie. Okay. Um, Such a cute. It's one of my earlier pictures of him because he's 11 now, but... Um, it was just this moment he was dancing in the backyard and his grandmother was dancing with him and he thought that was just hilarious <laughs> and it's one of those things you know um, you captured the yeah, moment and yeah. that's priceless right exactly um, the, the two on the right are twins um, and we wanted to do a photo shoot and the mom was nervous and what do we do and you know they wanted to dress up so we have, I don't even know what he is, some, some superhero, and she's mm -hmm. a fairy ballerina mm -hmm. with a flag. And, 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 you know, I love this because it reminds us all, we all think that getting eye contact in mm. the photo is the be-all, end-all to capture yeah. the moment, and it's just not. No, and, and 
thank goodness those days of velvet backdrops and posing <laughs> like this in right. front of a right. camera are really and, gone. Yeah. yeah, and even the smile isn't not necessarily no, something we I, need, right? I love those uh, candid moments where yeah. you just capture that moment of awe or they're thinking something intensely or um, there's a few I photographed that were brother and sister or two brothers and one is looking at his brother with awe. Mm -hmm. I love those moments and those I think parents love those moments too because that's what they see and they can't describe it to doctors, they can't describe it to other people but those are the moments that warm our hearts as parents. And so where can people go to find more information about this, Christina? Okay, go to my website. It's my name, ChristinaBantJenkins.com. Uh, I believe there'll be a link somewhere, but it's Christina with a K. Here we go. Great. And it's right up on the screen there. Yeah, and, and you'll see either the menu at the top of the page for This is Autism, or you just follow that link. Um, and you can contact me directly through the website or read more about it there. So you can take a look at pictures, but you could also have you take pictures Please. of the family. Yeah, uh, if I would love wants to. to get those pictures I'm because not, that's what you're doing professionally now. Right? I am. This is my main focus. I've worked, you know, with so many um, celebrities. You photographed so campaigns. many celebrities. Yeah. yeah. But this is this is my joy. This is my passion and my love. And I'm not turning anybody away. I really want to make this a huge project. It's going to be a book next year. Okay. Yeah. So the book will be called This is Autism. This is Autism Life mm -hmm. Through the Other Lens. Okay. And we'll hopefully, as you say, you want to help people to change their view yeah. of how they look at autism. Yeah. I want people to forget the controversies, forget the debates. We have experts and doctors to debate those things. As parents, we have to love them more than anybody and believe their abilities more than anybody. And, and that's, that's what I want to get across in the book. Now, you're also a runner. We have that in common. Yes. I'm really more of a former runner. I'm more no. into hiking these days because I ruined my knees with too many marathons. Oh, gosh. Um, but um, oh you're not there yet, no. um, and hopefully never will <laughs> be. Goodness. But you're starting. Um, tell us about the nonprofit organization Ought to Be Fit. Okay. I'm really, really excited about this. Um, sports is my other passion. Um, running, hiking, I've done Taekwondo, mm -hmm. um, every, everything. And then... With Charlie, you automatically think, oh, well, my child's going to love what I love, but he's, <laughs> you know, he's had OT and PT for years. He's been um, developmentally delayed physically, but now he's actually getting out there and loving sports. Mm -hmm. And then through that, I've learned that sports have so many benefits that mm -hmm. we cannot even talk about in one hour. Um, the proprioceptive input, the vestibular input, the, the messages to the central nervous system. Plus, our kids need to get out there and have the social interaction. They may not get to in schools. Um, it's so competitive in sports now. Um, but we want them out there with opportunities to make friends and build teams. Um, so what I wanted to do was combine the sports world and uh, professional athletes with the autism world, mm -hmm. um, get them to get the two together. Get kids out there playing sports. Get parents out there playing sports because we have enough excuses not to go for a run or go for a hike or we're right. busy. Right. Um, but this is a family fun activity, and at the same time, um, provide some mentorship, provide some inspiration, even if it's uh, just throwing a ball around or seeing this amazing athlete's medals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How fun is that? And then on Monday they go back to school and they met, you know, this guy from the LA Rams. He's the coolest kid in school on Monday. Right, exactly. So, it raises their... Yeah. I've seen this firsthand. Uh, my son got to uh, take the field with the Dodgers. Yeah. And, I, you know, I, he hadn't been interested in baseball yeah. and it changed his perspective. Getting yeah. to run out into center field and get a ball from the center fielder and yeah, cool. on, on really Sunday, cool. my, my son finished up the winter session of the uh, Special Olympics uh, swim program at Agora High, and we're going to be having them on the program in the future. But um, he, every kid, of course, got a medal mm -hmm. at the end of it, and we got in the car, and Wyatt's like, where's my medal? Yeah. yeah. And it's I'm meaningful. like, I, I, you know, yeah. uh, let me find it. And he's like, Mom, where's my medal? Where's my medal? Yeah, it just, it, it makes them feel, as, they see other kids getting yeah. these these awards and medals for participating yeah. in sports, and they need it too. And you know, our kids are so involved in therapies, which are so beneficial, and we, we can't do without them, but it's so beneficial to also get out of the therapy room, out of that mm -hmm. bubble, and get into some real life fresh air, fresh activity, mm -hmm. and um, 
run around. Yeah. So if we can get them out there, we don't know what talents they may have that we have not thought of. That's right. There are amazing athletes that are actually um, oh, marathoners. With yes, yes, covered yes. Yeah. on the show. Absolutely. Yeah, the, yeah. yeah, the perseverance and the routine-based right. disciplines. Yeah. So. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah, well, so. Christina, we thank you for everything that you are doing. Thank we want to so give much. your website again. It's thank your name, you. Christina. Christina. BantJenkins.com. Yes, yes, okay. and OughtToBeFit.org. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. so we've already got it. Yeah, already got yeah it. we're so launching officially. Yep. Okay. A-U-T, yep. the number two, two letter B, B fit. fit. OughtToBeFit.org. Okay. Love it. Very clever. Because everybody ought to be fit. That's right. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you for sharing your story Thank with you us so and much. Charlie's. It was a pleasure to meet you. And give our love to Charlie. I will.